so than anything. It hasn't really solved most of life's problems today. If you look at medical and you know real societal change, how do you see blockchain differing from uh, that kind of that Web 3.0 phase we're in right now? Yeah. Well, so the the community by and large has been focused on DeFi for the last couple of years, all right? And uh, and I think that is healthy to some degree, but there's an awful lot else that's been going on behind the scenes in terms of enterprises developing enterprise applications and preparing to go to market with those applications. What's going to really surprise the industry is when we go from having dozens or you know, 100 transactions per second on a given platform to hundreds and thousands of transactions per second resulting from a single enterprise use case. Right. That, there will be a step. It's a step function. It's not going to be a slow growth uh, of a few TPS uh, on an you know, ongoing basis. There will be a step function where enterprises go to market, they demonstrate the value of public DLT for their business purposes and their use cases, and it's going to shock the market. Now, the market's yeah. been hoping and anticipating that these exist, but very few people have been focused on doing the hard work over a long period of time in the enterprise space to realize that. They've been to focused on it. what's the, you know, the sugar high of the, of the next month or the next week. And yeah. I do think that's coming and uh, it, it will cause a shift in perception of what the value is of DLT for the industry at large. It will, uh, DeFi is here to stay for, for good, but it will broaden the scope of people's understanding of, of the value of DLT and it's just around the corner. Yeah. Mance, um, if you look into the future and you think of any of the challenges that we are facing potentially in this, whether it's regulatory, uh, consumer and um, enterprise adoption, where do you look for, uh, you know, when you look into the future, where do you see the most or the biggest challenges uh, coming at this industry? Um, the biggest challenge is just lack of re regulatory clarity, right? Yeah. And, and, and that's not that's not a surprise to anybody. Everyone sort of understands that that is a, a big challenge today. I, I do think that clarity is coming in the U.S. especially. Um, it, you know, once that happens, I think we're going to see an explosion of growth. There may be some pain for a lot of the platforms out there that no longer comply uh, once the clarity is provided. But coming through that, the uncertainty goes away, and along with that clarity comes, you know, additional investment, and uh, you know, risk factors are changed as a result of the clarity. And yeah. I just think there'll be an explosion in the growth of the of the space. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that's the biggest. Mass, that's the biggest yeah. hindrance to to maturing uh, maturing the the ecosystem today. Yeah, I think that it comes with almost any major breakout technology, whether you looked at social media or, or the internet, which have kind of been the big two over the last couple of decades. And uh, regulation was always kind of, and still even today, to a certain extent, social media is running through a whole you know barrage of regulatory issues, and it's been around since two thousand you know six two thousand seven. So. It definitely, I think uh, we are still at the very early stages of where all this is definitely heading. But uh, we want to thank you so much for stopping in on the show today, and uh, we'll catch you next time for sure. All right. Sounds great. Thank you, Paul.